<laughs> we are getting closer and closer to Halloween, which means more pumpkin spice beers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children over the age of 19, 21, and 18, depending on where your legal drinking age is. Tonight we have something that I actually have wanted to check out for a bit. And I've always loved this brewery and I... I don't know. I don't know. We have got from New Level Brewing, it's the PSL for life. It's the Imperial Pumpkin Spice Amber, made with cinnamon, vanilla, and aged on coffee, too. It sounds really good, coming in at 7.9% alcohol by volume. I bought this at Collective, as you can see right there, and it is a monster, monster one. But, it is also the weekend. Let's get into this crawler and see how this pumpkin spice beer is gonna be. So we've had some hits, we've had some misses. This one I'm hoping is a hit because again, I like my new level brewing. And I've got the appropriate glassware for this. I know it's odd that this happens, but I actually have new level brewing glassware. Had to get this Teco glass because I love the Teco. I love this Teco. So let's see what we got here. We have a, a copper color, little bit of a copper transfer onto the head, and it is sort of like an off white. It is clear, it looks good. Well, little, little hazy, very light carbonation, but this did come out of a keg. So there might be a little bit more carbonation than there usually is, so. The smell. Good night, folks. Not gonna do it. Nope. 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 All right, I will. We have pumpkin spice in there. The allspice is in there. I do smell the cinnamon. I do get a hint of vanilla. But that cinnamon and allspice really comes through with the pumpkin spice as well. All right, folks, let's get into it. Cheers. Right, that was the other thing that they had in there. Lactose and a lot of it. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot of lactose in there. So with the lactose that's in there, it actually makes it into a very creamy style beer, even though it doesn't look like it. The cinnamon is present on there. The vanilla is present on there as well. The allspice does come through in there. But that, that lactose does sweeten everything up quite a bit. Um, it's not overly sweet, but that allspice pumpkin spice stays on your tongue. Huh. Not gonna lie, this has so far been the best pumpkin amber ale I have had yet this year. It still doesn't quite beat out that beautiful paranormal from Flying Monkeys, but it's up there. Let's talk about that alcohol by volume. It's not there. Wow, it is not there. With everything that's going on there, that alcohol by volume, that 7.9% is not present in this beer. In fact, I would even call it a low 4%. That's how smooth it is. You do have the warming that does hit down here a little bit, but it is not present in the mouthfeel whatsoever. Little touch of that coffee on there as well. 
it is coming through a little bit, but it's not overbearing. Um, wow. It's really quite delicious. That, that, that spice is actually not overbearing. It's there, it's present. The lactose is making a creamy feel. The coffee's kind of there, but it's kind of hidden. Cinnamon's there, vanilla's there, and just wow. But the alcohol is not. That's what I class as a really, really damn dangerous beer. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie when I say this, is good. I'm enjoying this. I like it. The spices aren't overbearing. The taste is good. Just wow. New level. Good work. Granted, if I have more than one glass of this, I probably would feel a diabetes onset coming along with all the lactose sugar in there. But that's not exactly a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. In fact, I'm probably going to finish off this crowler really quickly tonight. Ooh. Better get down to editing <laughs> before I finish this, because I'm not going to be doing much else after this. Well, folks, have you had this one before? New Level is out of Calgary, Alberta, and they were one of my favorite breweries. Beautiful metal, beautiful things, but I can't see them doing a pumpkin spice for life. Pumpkin spice latte for life. And new level, you think metal, you don't think them taking selfies in the autumn leaves. But that's just me. I just, it's a good play on words, a very well done beer, and I do really like this. So, folks, till next time, I am PK saying cheers, stay frosty, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know the, all the jazz. As well, I hope you guys have a good, Good Halloween. I will be back for my Tap House of Horror number five. And it will be something that I actually am going to enjoy sharing with you. I have got something set up and I'm hopefully going to be dropping it Halloween. But aside from that, there will be a few more videos coming through. In fact, I got one editing right now that will come up before this one. And there'll be a few more after that. Till next time, I am PK Saints. Cheers. Stay frosty as I did. See you real soon, and yeah. Happy Halloween. I'm not as afraid of pumpkin spices anymore. Bring on the next one. Cheers. Thanks again.